Mova. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker, and I want to take very little time in uh, replying. Honorable Speaker, I want to thank all the members who have uh, said something about this supplementary budget, and it's important that I mention so that I also reply to their, uh, uh, to their concerns. Number one, on Honorable Irene on State House. Honorable Speaker, I explained that in the second reading of the, of the report. And the fact of the matter is that State House had not been given enough money in the main budget. And we did that consciously because there were more pressing needs. So we are just reinstating the budget that they never got in the first place in the main budget. Secondly, on diaspora, the one million shillings in a, is an addition. You know, Honorable Speaker, this was a budget to cut. So they should actually be very happy that there is an addition because most 90% of the institutions of government or MDS actually lost money. Honorable Speaker, on uh, the issue of education raised by Honorable Justice, um, we have already added more money to education. It was actually the highest gainer after uh, the payment of interest rates. On, uh, Honorable Nchoke, I agree on the issue of interest rates and forex that they have a big effect on the amount of money we end up paying our, our, our interest rates. Honorable Speaker, on Nairobi schools, as was highlighted by the chair of ICT, Honorable KJ, there was a clear need, specifically because land in Nairobi is very expensive. Well, we are expending our CDF monies in the other areas. The land we may purchase to build a school is relatively cheaper when you are not in Nairobi. And that is why Nairobi was considered so that we have a a semblance of equity also in our city. Many times you see the city of Nairobi, we see good roads, but there are very many informal areas and Kenyans who need our assistance. Honorable Speaker, I want to commend also Honorable Beatrice uh, Kemei on the issue of uh, milk. We have actually added more money to new KCC because we need them to mop out uh, or to mop up much more milk and especially as Kenyans know, when it rains, we have more production of milk. And what happens is that the prices fall. This money is to mitigate that drastic fall in milk prices and as far as the farmers are concerned. Honorable Speaker, there is an issue that has been raised by many members on whether there is actually money for flood, uh, for flood mitigation. Honorable Speaker, in the Department of Assals, there is a, around 6 billion Kenya shillings we put for emergency. In fact, this money is donor funded money. So what we do is that the government of Kenya allocates exchequer money or domestic monies, and then every shilling we spend, we get reimbursement from World Bank. So when it comes to flood mitigation and assisting Kenyans who are uh, victims of floods, there is sufficient money, Honorable Speaker, that we have put in this supplementary budget. Honorable Zamzam, thank you very much. The money for security is there. Honorable Ferdinand Wanyonyi, and the chair for agriculture is here, he can confirm, Honorable Motonga, that this supplementary budget, the third gainer is actually agriculture. Agriculture in all respects. In terms of inputs, Honorable Motonga has been a very good chair of that yes, committee. Uh, order. What is the point of order? Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Is the chair for budget in order to mislead the House by telling us that money has been allocated for El Nino and other disasters, when in the book we can see only money for capital expenditure, nothing for disaster. So where is he reading from, whatever he's saying? We know that 22 counties are affected by disasters. So he should not speak to himself. He should speak to the House on what is table uh, to, on the floor, Mr. Speaker. Oh, thank you. Chairman, wind up. Uh, Honorable Speaker, I want to request my brother, Honorable Sani, that uh, with very much due respect, because he's a very, very uh, uh, important member of this house, I could pinpoint to him where the money is after this. There is Kenya shillings, six billion shillings for emergency. And you know such a matter is not a matter to come to and talk before this House and before these honourable members on issues that are not there. 
it is so important a matter that no one should play politics with. So there is money that the government of Kenya has already provisioned for disaster management. And as I said before, there is money expressly to be spent uh, from the domestic sources, but there is also money for donor funding, Honorable Speaker, and that money is there and intact. Honorable Speaker, I want to agree with Honorable uh, Ferdinand that agriculture is very important. And Honorable Mutonga, who is a very, very good chair of that committee, can confirm that he was actually smiling all the way in our committee. When the other chairs came, wailing because of the cuts, Honorable Mutonga was one of the gainers in the Committee for Agriculture. And we have done money or allocated into inputs, into value chains, and also all the way into post-harvest management. I want to also agree with Honorable Bowen Kagongo on all respects, equity. Honorable Chair, Honorable Speaker, there is money for coffee farmers. There is money for tea farmers because agriculture money or fertilizer money also incorporates tea farmers. There is money for cashew nuts. There is money for new KCC, majorly taking care of the pastoralists and the dairy farmers. So the entire Kenyan map is actually in this supplementary budget. Honorable Speaker, also in terms of security, we have added 6.3 billion Kenya shillings into police modernization and that money will go a long way into assisting areas that are facing challenges. I also want to agree with my brother Honorable Atandi who is a very committed member of the budget committee and as you saw Honorable Speaker also he is doing very well in Alega Usoga because he is among the best performing MPs also in Kenya and all the issues he spoke about around security we have already allocated monies so that our country can be secure. Honorable Makirap, I want to, uh, uh, to I, I think I've already answered most of it in terms of emergency and restocking. Focuses, what is the problem? Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker. With due respect with, to my senior brother, Chair for Budget, he has enlisted money's men for agriculture and listen critical areas that is uh, coffee, tea, milk. But being the house of record, Mr. Speaker, it would be very important that the farmers who are doing maize at the moment should also get to know what is the provision for, for maize because we are at the harvesting period. And being the house of record should also be mentioned. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, I had already mentioned about maize farmers. But because the Honorable Member for KSS shares the same name with the President of Kenya, I will repeat that we have 8.25 billion Kenya shillings money for fertilizer subsidy. Most of this money is for maize farmers. Secondly, there is money for post-harvest management. In fact, part of the items that we are already passed under Article 223 are monies that went into the purchase of dryers. Number three, Honorable Speaker, we have put some money for arrears of farmers who never got paid by NCPB in previous years. And Honorable Speaker, and I hope now Honorable Ruto is, uh, uh, is, uh, is now satisfied. We have also put money for NCPB He's to mop up so money. He's cheering what you are saying. He's satisfied. Okay. Wind up. I am winding up, Honorable Chair. We have also put money into NCPB for them to buy excess maize from our farmers so that we can have a granary that is full as a nation. With those many remarks, Honorable Speaker, I wish to reply. Honourable members, I now propose the question, or put the question rather, that the supplemental appropriation number three bill, National Assembly Bill number 71 of 2023, be now read a second time. As members of that opinion say aye. aye. Will those of the current opinion say nay? The ayes have it. A bill for an act of parliament 
to authorize the issue of certain sums of money out of the consolidated fund and the application towards the service for the year ending on that year, June 2024, and to appropriate those sums for certain public services and purposes. Order number 11, Committee of the Whole House. Order, honorable members, may you be upstanding. <laughs>